Hello! Here's a quick tutorial on how to mod Blasphemous and Blasphemous 2. In this video, I will show you how to download and install the mod installer, how to use the mod installer to mod the game, and how to add custom skins, also through the mod installer. There are timestamps to each section in the video description. If you want to mod Blasphemous at all, you first need to download the mod installer. To do this, you need to find the Blasphemous mod installer GitHub page. You can find the link to this pinned in the modding channel of the Blasphemous Discord, the resources channel of the Blasphemous Modding Discord, or in the video description. Once here, navigate to the releases section and click on the latest release. Then click on blastmodinstaller.zip to download. You may need to make an exception in your antivirus, but I promise the file is perfectly safe to download. Once downloaded, drag the zip file anywhere on your computer and extract it. In the downloaded folder, run blastmodinstaller.exe. Click this section at the top left of the screen to change the file path to the game exe. Make sure you're selecting the correct game directory. Click this section here to download the modding tools. A green check mark should appear when they're downloaded. Do this for the Blasphemous and Blasphemous 2 tabs to make sure both games have the correct file path and modding tools installed. A list of mods will appear on the main screen. You can hover over any mod for a brief description of the mod in this window here. Blue mods are dependencies, meaning that they are needed for other mods to function. Each mod also has a README button, which you can click to open the mod's README page on GitHub if you want a more detailed description. To install a mod, simply click on the red Not Installed button. If the mod requires any dependencies, a pop-up will appear prompting you to install them. If you wish to disable a mod, simply click on the Enabled button, and you will be able to toggle the mod on and off. Know that disabling a dependency will automatically disable any mods which use it. Then, to launch the game with your selected mods, make sure the Run Modded and Run with Console boxes are checked, and then click Launch Game. Launching the game via Steam will automatically launch the game modded, so if you want to play vanilla, open the installer, uncheck Run Modded and Run with Console, and click Launch Game. This process is identical for both Blasphemous 1 and 2. To use custom skins, first make sure you have the custom skins mod installed and enabled. Then click the Blasphemous Skins tab at the top left. You will see a list of skins and their authors. Hovering over a skin will show you a preview here, using the in-game skin unlock image. Installing a custom skin is the same as installing a mod, except that custom skins are selected in-game rather than enabled or disabled in the installer, so go ahead and install as many as you want. Once you've installed your favorites, go ahead and launch the game modded. On the main menu screen, select Extras, and then Skin Selector. Here you will be able to see all custom skins that you've modded in. If you have any issues with the mod installer or any of the mods on it, please join the Blasphemous Modding Discord server to get help from mod developers and other experienced modders. The link will be in the description. If you found this tutorial helpful, check out these other two tutorials on how to upload a custom skin to the mod installer and how to play Blasphemous in multiplayer. Thank you for watching, and enjoy modding the game.